Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to explain you one of the two most important widgets in Flutter. One is bottom navigation bar widget. Second one is navigation rail widget. Comes to the mobile screen, we have to be use bottom navigation bar widget. Comes comes to the web, we have to be use navigation rail widget. So let's write. Let's start to write the code. So first of all, I am taking a stateful widget. My home page. So here, get the return. I'm taking one scab fold. Scab bar. Return. Understand. Text will be navigation. Navigation bar. Get placing the title in the center. After that, I'm taking bottom navigation bar. So bottom navigation bar. Items here we need items here. Items list needed here. For that we have to create one list. List items. Now here, bottom navigation bar item list. Bottom okay. okay done. After that, inside the init function. We are preparing the items list. Items dot add bottom navigation bar item icon icons dot home table home. Add two more items here. Person, admin, dashboard, dashboard, dashboard. Okay. So three items we are inserting inside this items list. After that. Copy this item list and place here. So after selected index, first of all, we'll see how it is coming. Bottom navigation bar. See. So like this, we are getting the navigation bar. But when you are selecting, nothing is happening. So first of all, we have to give the functionality here for selection. So we have to take one index, index, and selected index equal to zero initially it will be set at zero position so here give select a and index will be selected index on tap value 
that is check this dot selected index equal to value the value we had selected index so let's run the code and check <coughs> okay so now it is selecting so whenever we are selecting that color icon color and text color also changing here but here body body also have to change so whatever the index we selecting uh, related body also have to be changed so for that we have to take one more list list body list take array now here body list we get here prepare the inside the init prepare the body list uh, based upon the items length items dot for each body list dot add container color add color here. Child, big child, possible child. Okay. Next element or label dot string. Okay, done. The body list also prepared. So what we have to do? Minimize this bottom navigation bar. Close this one. Add body. Body list. Selected index. So whichever the index is selected, that related body will display here. So that's why we added body list of selected index. So let's run the code and check how it is coming. Okay, initially it will be home. I'm clicking on admin. Admin is coming. Dashboard. Dashboard is coming. Okay. Good. So and also have to add one random color. Random color generator in flutter. Take this one. Here color. Paste here. Okay, done. On the code and check. home admin dashboard home admin dashboard so three containers having different colors home, home having different color light pink admin having different color orange dashboard also same way, different color so like that so this is the bottom navigation bar complete Bottom navigation bar, bar will be applicable to only mobiles, not only desktop. In the desktop, we have to show navigation right. It means left bar menu. Comes to the mobile, we have to show bottom bar menu. So in the in this case, what we have to do? Based upon the media query, media query of contacts dot size dot width. Based upon this width, so this media query of context of size dot width, what it will return means. So whatever the screen currently we are displaying, that screen width width it will uh, give. 
it will give so greater than less than equal to 640 then only bottom navigation bar will display otherwise otherwise it will not display so in this case we are passing null value so let's run the code and check okay so i am expanding this one see bottom navigation bar is gone if i move if i minimize to mobile then it will come if i expand it will be disappear like this so so comes to the web we have to show navigation rail so for that one what do we have to do uh, inside the body we have to do something yes uh, here you have to take row inside this row take children paste this one uh, wrap this body list with uh, expanded with get I go on that I have to take one more container container child child will be navigation rail now here that destinations prepare this list selected index also we have to pass selected index so destination this list we have to prepare so we have to take one more list navigation rail list here navigation rail destination after that prepare Inside this array only, I am preparing uh, here navigation rail dot add navigation rail destination model. So here we have to pass icon icons dot Home. Okay. Now here, pass label text. Home. We'll do one thing. Items dot. No items. Element dot label. label dot to string here also we will pass already we are added the inside this list now I am reusing the icons and labels here element dot icon element dot icon Now this list also prepared. What do you have to do? Instead of this one, of navigation rail list. Now here, a label type navigation label type dot all. After that. Selected table text on its own. Text style color blue. Unselected uh, 
color black okay done and also we will able to give the elevation also elevation 5 uh, from destination selected selected index selected state Restore selected index equal to selected index. Okay, done. Okay. Now let's run the code and check. So wait, wait. Here we have to add one condition. First of all, we'll see how it is coming. After that, we will add the condition. So, if you see here, we are getting the left navigation rail along with bottom navigation. But comes to mobile, we don't need left navigation rail. So, for that purpose, what we have to do? Just add a one more condition here. If media query, media query of context dot site dot width greater than 640 and only it will display in remaining case it will not display so let's run the code and check see now it is uh, hidden okay When I expand it, in this case it will come. Admin dashboard. So like this. So like this, you will be able to you will be able to implement both bars left navigation rail bar and bottom navigation bar so if this video is helpful to you just give a like and share to your friends if you are not a subscriber please subscribe to my channel thank you